And uh, I just want to say one thing um, to the fans and everybody in Gator Nation. Um, I'm sorry. Um, extremely sorry. You know, we were hoping for an undefeated season. That was my goal. Something the floor has never done here. But I promise you one thing. A lot of good will come out of this. You have never seen any player in the entire country play as hard as I will play the rest of the season. And you never see someone push the rest of the team as hard as I will push everybody the rest of the season. And you never see a team play harder than we will the rest of the season. God bless. 2008 Florida Gators will go down in history as one of the greatest teams to ever play at the Swamp. Three players on the team played in the National Football League. Five out of ten of the coaches on the staff became head coaches at the collegiate level. While this statistic may sound crazy, the craziest statistic is that 41 of 121 players on the Florida Gators roster were arrested at some point between 2005 and 2010. Tebow was the leader of this Florida Gators team. Tebow became famous for his strong religious beliefs and play on the field. Tim Tebow became the first sophomore to ever win the Heisman Trophy. He also set five NCAA records, 14 SEC records, and 28 UF records. Tebow, being the religious man he is, attempted to lead teammate Aaron Hernandez in the right direction. Hernandez had always had a troubled youth, and academically, he was not always the sharpest. In college, Hernandez was enrolled in courses such as theater application, bowling, wildlife issues, and a class entitled Plants, Gardening, and You. But on the field, Hernandez would shine. He would start 11 of 13 games in the 2008 season and would have finished the year with 34 catches for 381 yards and five touchdowns. In the national championship game, he would lead the team in receiving with five catches for 57 yards. Unfortunately, Hernandez's troubles off the field would only continue to get worse. After leaving the University of Florida and being drafted by the Patriots in 2010, Hernandez was arrested for the murder of Odin Lloyd. Immediately after, Hernandez was let go by the Patriots. In April of 2015, Hernandez would be found guilty for the murder of two people. Hernandez would go on to kill himself in prison. His brain, however, was donated to science for CTE research. They found that he had stage three CTE out of four. Urban Meyer was very lenient with player punishment. Even times, he would say a player was injured when they were not playing in a game when they had actually failed the drug test. At one point, Aaron Hernandez even told Urban Meyer that he was high on drugs for every single game. One could argue that Urban Meyer's leniency with players could have led to them becoming criminals. The one player Urban Meyer was strict with was quarterback Cam Newton. Cam Newton was kicked off the team after he was found stealing another student's computer. Newton would go on to be a future NFL MVP. The Gators were also known for some other players, such as Riley Cooper, the racist, also Brandon Spikes, who was charged with leaving the scene of a personal injury crash, operating a motor vehicle negligently to endanger, speeding, and failure to stay within marked lanes. Pouncey twins, who were accused of beating two people at a nightclub. Norris Jenkins, who was convicted of aggravated battery with a deadly weapon and also served two years and six months on multiple other convictions. Tony Joyner, who was arrested for the murder of his wife, as well as 35 others. 
2008 Florida Gators football team that won the national championship killed it on the field, and apparently they did not stop once they got off it. This team boggles minds to this day, and how they were able to achieve college football's highest honor while committing wide varieties of crime. Some may contribute this to faulty coaching discipline. Some may contribute it to each player's individual upbringing. You could even argue that CTE played an impact in how these players acted. But the fact remains that what these players did on, and more importantly, off the field, will go down in football history forever.